It's time now for Three Stock Lunch, and today we're taking a look at some once-hot pandemic stocks. Peloton is lower on a wider-than-expected loss, a weak holiday outlook, now 90% off the highs. Amazon shares back at its pre-pandemic levels, and Moderna lower after missing estimates and lowering its sales outlook, now 60% off the highs. Is it time to buy or run for the hills if you're an investor? Let's ask... David Wagner. He's portfolio manager at Aptus Capital Advisors and has our trades today. Dave, let's kick things off with Peloton. Yeah, I think I'm running for the hills, Morgan, here. I think the, the biggest question for Peloton is right now, does the business story turn around? And it did feel as if a little bit this quarter, investors saw some stabilization in inventory and some sequential improvements in free cash flow. I'll give the management team a lot of credit here for Peloton. On the call, there was a lot of optimism from them and also the analysts. But it's no secret that revenues have dropped off a cliff, almost 20% over the last three quarters. Um, this quarter, right now, I mean, they're coming across four different quarters, difficult quarters of difficult, tough comps. And this was the third quarter of that four-quarter cycle right now. So this quarter should be the last tough comp. So there's one more quarter for investors really to worry about. And that quarter, just during this earnings call, well, that bar was lowered. But then what? What if demand does not pick back up in 2023? Then you have other, hang, uh, other overhangs, such as inventory and negative free cash flow, which was still negative $250 million this quarter. I believe that the stock's going to be in the penalty box until in the inventory problem is behind them and that there is some clarity on demand moving forward into 2023. I mean, don't get me wrong here, Morgan. I mean, the company has made a lot of improvements in these areas, especially on the free cash flow side. But I think that there's probably some risk still to the downside, especially if the market doesn't believe the new fundamental evolution of the company moving forward. And that's why I'm on the side. Is there a data? I mean, I is there a data play here with Peloton? I don't know, you know, if you use Peloton or not. Like, they know a lot about you. Like, so we always talk about the value of data, right? They know the user. A, they probably know what your income level is. we got to move on. I just wonder if there's a, wonder if there's a data uh, uh, level there as well. Let's move on now. We called it a pandemic stock. It's not. It's Amazon. They've been around for 25 years. Uh, Amazon's probably getting a slowdown because, you know, a little bit. But what's your take on Amazon right now? I mean, compared to where it I was mean versus where you think it's going to go? Yeah, they definitely caused the ruckus here, Brian, Sully. But I think that the only stock that probably infuriates me more than Amazon right now is FIS. But right now, basically, everybody owns FIS. It's, uh, it's over-owned, has definitely become a funding mechanism for people to be buying the average stock. So the one thing that has surprised me is if you look at Wall Street, the rating system, there's only one sell rating on Amazon. I mean, I get it that it's only 10% off of its COVID bottom. But, you know, you really think that people would have, would have started throwing in the towel by now. But I think one of the biggest things that we've learned this earnings season, it's actually come from Google and Meta, is that the markets absolutely hate, hate any type of increase in spending. For Google, it was jobs. For Meta, well, it was basically everything. But now we're learning today that Amazon, well, they stopped hiring on the AWS side. They stopped hiring on the retail side. And today, they stopped the hiring on the corporate level. So what I've been saying about Amazon on this program in the past is that this stock does really well when it's harvesting, not when it's investing. So what does that mean? Mm. It means that, hey, margins matter. Profitability is king. But if you go back to last quarter, you saw the stock rally really hard off of better profitability and expectations. But fast forward to this quarter. This quarter, you had slowing AWS growth okay. and rising costs, reducing visibility on the operating margins of the report. So it's tough okay. to own here for me. All right. One sentence. Moderna. Um, I don't think that analysts are uh, correctly modeling the potential readouts right now on the PVC drug and the uh, cancer drug that have gotten a lot of great momentum here, especially after the uh, $240 million put in yep. there by Merck. Dave Wagner, appreciate it. Three stock lunch, Peloton, Amazon, Moderna.